I guess the holidays is really just a time, you know, just to sort of reflect on the past year and sort of just try to, it's going to sound super cliche, but just to enjoy life. For many people, the holidays are the happiest time of the year. But for others, it's a very different story. Yeah, I was in the military for 23 years, and out of those 23 years, I think maybe I spent three of those years at a, with a family. So it's Thanksgiving, being thankful. Uh, and I try to do that. It's hard, but I, I try to do that. Think of my kids that I have and, and what I have for them. So it's, it's tough. Sadly, many of us have experienced severe conflict and anxiety around the holiday season. Therefore, this time of year may be emotionally draining. Thanksgiving, it's time for thanking everyone around you. Christmas, it's a time to just be merry, as they say. So I would say just, you know, maybe take a step back from, you know, what el whatever else is going on in your life. Loneliness can heighten around this time of year, but on the contrary, being around too many people can cause an immense amount of stress. So I spoke with therapist Brad Caro about the causes and effects of this paradox. It can uh, highlight uh, an indi individual's feeling of loneliness uh, during this time of year if they don't have a place to go for the holidays. Um, in addition to that, uh, colder weather, cloudier skies, uh, these are all things that can contribute to a person's mental health. And according to Brad, the best way to cope with these feelings is to get into therapy because it never hurts to have someone to talk to and uh, it can only benefit you. For Canyons News, I'm Stuart Carpell.